we are joined by uh, goal scorer Jackie Hand and Book Burns head coach Yuki from Hoba following our 2 0 win over Vietnam here in Napier. Um, so, what we'll do, as we normally do with these things, uh, I'll kick off with a question and then hand over to everybody to ask. If you just ask two questions at a time and then we'll go around everybody and then start to go about the start again. Uh, obviously, we can just keep this as quick as possible, that'd be awesome. And um, I'll start off with uh, Yiko and Jackie. How did it feel to get the win in our final game for the World Cup? I think, uh, yeah, I mean, that was our goal. We went out there to win and it just feels very, very good to get the win and get a couple of goals in the net. Dika, who's um, sorting the ice cream tonight? We are putting the ice cream all over <laughs> our faces. Oh, yeah, please. that's uh, uh, well-deserved, by the way. Well-deserved tonight, uh, specifically the first half was incredible performance, a lot of good combination play, things what, that we were working on. And I'm so happy that uh, we scored and we actually kept the clean sheet. So those are two things that we were working the most of, to be more efficient in front of our goal in attack and be gritty in front of our goal defensively. So seeing uh, how we played and, and having this uh, winning result is very uh, helpful uh, with our confidence uh, to go further uh, and yeah, to be more prepared for our first uh, game at the World Cup. Yeah, it seems fair to say none of the World Cup games are going to look like that in terms of the position you have and the weight of chances. You know, what, does, what are the main things you take away with those games? Uh, I think the, the first thing is it helps the confidence. We wanted uh, uh, this win. We needed the win. The win was uh, since 2012, our first win at home and, uh, and our fans deserve um, this kind of moments that uh, we, we have three points in our pocket with good performance. So I think the confidence piece is number one. And you know, like um, we know Norway is going to be different opposition uh, in our first game, but knowing that we can play such a good football, uh, it's very positive and, and knowing that we can score goals uh, that's something what, what we, we wanted to achieve and, and having this uh, is it's just helpful. Yeah, Kira, I was watching you with the team huddle after the game and there was a lot of emotion uh, on your face. Can you tell me what you were saying to your team? Uh, obviously very pleased with the performances, uh, specifically in that first half. And uh, yeah, we were, someone yelled that they can wait for the ice cream. So yeah, I was just uh, very happy. Uh, that uh, we are we are having it tonight. <laughs> and can you pinpoint a couple of areas of the game that you go away and work on before uh, the game on Tuesday? Yeah, I think we can. We should be managing the game uh, specifically in the end uh, a little bit better. Uh, I think just keeping the position in our attacking half. And I know our players wanted to push, wanted to score more. But in this, uh, specifically during the World Cup, we just need to control uh, the game a little bit better and, and just control uh, the possession. Um, so I think that's the first uh, what came uh, in my mind. And the second thing is a more consistency uh, because the difference between first half and second half was obvious. So specifically first 15 minutes in the second half. So I think that consistency about quality of performances uh, for us are the key areas that we want to improve. Um, many of the fans that we spoke to today um, weren't necessarily football fans, but they were excited to have international football here in the regions. Uh, what would you tell them that they can expect during this World Cup following the football burns? First of all, I want to thank them that they came. It's Monday uh, evening. Um, it, they helped us to perform this way. They helped us, they pushed us, and this is what uh, we appreciate because we are not used to play home. And having 6,000 people uh, pushing us and screaming at, 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 at us uh, and actually celebrating all those little moments, uh, it's so helpful and our players are really appreciated. So this is what I would say, it's a huge credit to them. 
And yeah, they, they deserve this kind of performance. Uh, we, we, we were talking about it, like we, we want to play for them. We want to play for the fans who, are, who came tonight, for the fans who are watching uh, TV. Our goal during the World Cup is inspire the nation and, and making the nation proud. And with this kind of performances, I think we are reaching our goal. Um, there's n absolutely no feeling like playing at home. And I think it's just, yeah, like Yitka said, it's incredible to have so many people come out. Um, first time we played an international match in Napier and to see all of them out there was just an amazing feeling. Jackie, I think the team finished with 29 shots. Is there, was there any frustration at not scoring in the second half, especially not getting more than two goals given the number of chances? Yeah, I think uh, myself personally, I will always want to score more um, and the chances that I miss, I will always look back and, and see what I can do to put them away. And I think, I mean, we getting those 29 shots is a big step <clears throat> forward for us. So, and, you know, we're working on, on scoring and to get two goals and keep a clean sheet, like Yika said, was, was really good. It has been a while since the team's last win was there. You know, what were the feelings like just as you came together at the end there? to sort of be able to, you know, I guess tick that box before the World Cup, you're hoping to tick a couple more. Yeah, I mean, I, we all knew we could do it. So it was a matter of putting out the performance and, and getting the goals and we showed it, like you could see, especially in the first half, we really went out and, and showed that we could have won that game like 5-0 if we had put all our chances away. Yeah, okay, you've got a few attacking options in the squad. Uh, can you just tell us how you landed on Jackie and, and the uh, Paige Riley to she bully you or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, can, can you just tell us about the thought process behind those two as your, as your wide attackers? Uh, so, uh, specifically Jackie, I know how she's performing in Finland. She's smashing it. She's smashing uh, the... Uh, she's leading the um, goaling, um, goal scorer over there. So, and I know she can do it with us. I knew it. Like, I know her quality. She was performing very well uh, during uh, the trainings. <clears throat> Indy, actually, uh, during those nine weeks that they, they, we were working uh, together, she started from May 1st, and those nine weeks absolutely helped her where she is today. Uh, she was bubbling up every day. She stepped on the field. She uh, performed uh, better and better, and this starting position, she, it's absolutely deserved. So I'm so happy that two young players were so influential tonight and so dangerous tonight. And actually both of them were part of that second goal when Indy crossed uh, to or passed to, to Jackie and Jackie uh, didn't, miss, didn't miss. And Jackie, obviously um, goals were only one part of your game, but you are a striker. So um, is there is there a degree of satisfaction that you've scored a goal so close to a World Cup? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always good to get those goals, but I think yeah, the performance tonight was, was such a confidence booster in that we were able to create so many chances and yeah, putting them away is always a good thing. Yeah, good. Oh. yeah I was just going to say, after the ice cream, uh, what's the next 10 days that filled into the, the World Cup look like for your team? Yeah, we will enjoy this moment, you know, it's special for us. So, yes, tonight we will enjoy it. After the ice cream, we will be locking ourselves in the, in the coaching room and, and reviewing the game and, and analyzing what we've done well and what we can do better. Uh, and then tomorrow is the recovery day. So everybody is going to take care of their bodies uh, mentally and physically. And then, yeah, we will be back on the field and, and working on things that uh, need to be better for the next one. Any niggles from tonight? Uh, so far, I, I have not heard anything specific. So knocking on wood, uh, I hope everybody is healthy and, and ready to roll. Um, Yika, um, just in terms of the shape you lined up with tonight, um, it's one you haven't used from the start of this since last April. You know, what made you sort of go back there? And is that a permanent shift or is it something you're looking to have options? I think variations in our formation is always uh, good for us uh, to have options. Uh, we are comfortable with more formations, but honestly, it's not about the shape. It's more about the way how we play and the style how we play. And if we will be performing uh, the way how we did in any any shape, I think that's the, that's the key for us. Like the key for us to 
possess better to combine with each other. It doesn't matter with forma which formation we are playing. And then not just uh, on the ball, but we need to understand how united and compact we have to be uh, when we play different formations uh, uh, so we can win the ball a little bit earlier on the field. Or, yeah, earlier. Is it hokey pokey or Neapolitan <laughs> or what are you going for? Can you translate this one, Jackie? <laughs> the ice cream flavors. Oh. Hokey, po oh. hokey pokey. Oh, that's the brand? The flavor. Oh, hokey flavor. pokey. Hokey pokey. Hopefully hokey we'll have hokey pokey. pokey. We'll let her try yeah. it. Oh, well, I will try <laughs> that. Neapolitan. Yeah. No, okay, I will one. ask I like for hokey one. pokey. Yeah. <laughs> you know Neapolitan with the three flavors? Mm. I, haven't had, yeah, I haven't had ice cream for a <laughs> while, so <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Neither. <laughs> it sounds like a bit of um, good social media content. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Any further questions? If not, we'll call it there. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.